What is up everyone? Today I've got my consumer review of the iPhone 5. Now as I said this is not going to be a full on tech review but more a consumer review to give you an idea of, of how the hardware and software work on this phone in a day to day basis. Okay so first is design and there can be little doubt that this is the best looking smartphone on the market right now. The way Apple have built this bit of hardware and yet put such good design in it shows real skill. And the main feature of this of course is that 4 inch display which Apple managed to take full advantage of and you feel like the whole phone really does make good use of this brand new 4 inch display. But what does it feel like in your hand? This only weighs about 100 grams which is significantly less than the older generations and tune up with its thickness which is now 7.6 millimeters thin it really does make a huge difference and just feels great in your hand and in your pocket. Now with the display not only is it 4 inches in diameter but also is of such good quality it matches real life colors absolutely perfectly it is that standard. Now what would be the point of such a good display if it didn't have good cameras so we now have a 1.2 megapixel 720p HD camera on the front and our familiar 8 megapixel eyesight camera from the 4S on the back. Okay, so now let's talk software. Now this is running Apple's iOS 6, which does run incredibly fluidly on this phone. It's probably because of the brand new A6 chip on this device, which is more than twice as powerful as the 4S. And as you can see here, stock apps and all the iOS services run incredibly smoothly. However, you do get a sense that a lot more could have been done with the hardware of this device if the software had been improved, and I really do hope that is improved in the future. However, with App Store apps, uh, the way that developers are able to optimize their apps for both the screen and the hardware really does make a big difference. As you can see here, you get a lot more real estate, especially on apps which are quite graphing intensive and need intricate controls and taking the example of Snapseat here showing that you can now get more things in the landscape mode with that new 4 inch display. Okay so overall the hardware is fantastic, all the build quality, the way it now utilizes that big screen is all there absolutely fantastic. However, iOS, although incredibly functional, you do feel it could be improved for such a powerful bit of hardware. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, leave a comment down below as to what you think of the iPhone 5 as a consumer. I'll uh, be interested to hear your thoughts. Subscribe if you feel like being awesome and I'll see you in the next one.